Hydrogen is the most abundant substance in the universe. It fuels the stars that light the night sky. And this energy carrier will also power the future of mankind, as it is already used as car fuel and within this century even in fusion reactors. And I'm going to show you how to prepare this elusive substance even at home. As most of you know, a water molecule consists of one oxygen atom and two smaller hydrogen atoms. So if we wanted hydrogen gas, we would simply need to break this molecule and collect the gas. Easier said than done? Not really. Everyone can split water and all the necessary components are available at home. Simply make some salt water and place it in a glass. Then put a batter in it and watch how hydrogen bubbles start to form. Although, if you want to collect the gas, then you will need to use electrodes instead, that are connected to the external power source. Hydrogen is generated at the cathode, so you can collect it near this electrode. If the anode is made from a chemically inert material, such as platinum, then oxygen may be collected at the anode. For a home experiment, steel plates or aluminum foil will do as electrode materials. But don't expect them to last very long, because they will very quickly corrode under anodic potentials in salt water. In my own setup, I used aluminum foil as both anode and cathode. I made both electrodes multilayered and added holes in them in order to increase the surface area. That allows me to get more gas in shorter time. The reaction was powered with 9 volt batteries. When setting up the experiment, make sure that the anode and the cathode are not in direct contact with each other and are always separated by salt water. I also added some soap into the water in order to collect the gas into the bubbles. Hydrogen is highly flammable, so it is quite easy to check if these bubbles are actually filled with the right stuff. The small explosions that you saw was basically hydrogen reacting with oxygen. In that process, both gases combine and water is violently recreated. So that's it for today. My name is Milo and be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments, questions and suggestions below.